Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pixel Mall Infinity. As you can see from behind me, I have a house. I've been quite busy in between the last episode and this episode. Uh, for those of you who are quite observant, you would have noticed on my screen, to the left of my screen that is, all the different Pokemons. And those who are very observant would have noticed Charmander has evolved into Charmeleon. Last episode I said, I want to, oh, I didn't mean to place that. Last episode I said I want to get a Pikachu. That's my aim of the season. <laughs> I've got a Pikachu. It's only level 29 so it still needs to level up a bit more to be, well, battle ready. If we have a look in the PC you'll see I've actually caught quite a lot of Pokemon, including a Persian, a Meowth. Uh, the egg I had last episode hatched off camera into a Bronzor. I have no idea what it do so I left it in the box. I've got quite a few different Pokemon. There's my Seviper. I mean, last episode I kept calling it Seviper. It was only after the episode finished that I realized I've been calling it wrong. It's Seviper. Golbat, uh, Sveal, Fletchling, Pidgey, Papita. What's this one? Noibat. I, I, I've never heard of some of these ones, but then that's to be expected because I haven't really been paying attention to Pokemon. One of the things I want to do in this episode, this is not a natural Pokemon by the way, it's just a statue. It almost fooled me, but it kind of gave it away because it doesn't say what level it is or anything like that. Plus it's actually quite small for a Genesect. I wouldn't think a Genesect would come that small. I'm assuming this is from Shinxi. There's a story behind it, like I said. That story is basically Shinxi caught a Genesect, a legendary Genesect the other day. When he caught it, it was... I, I like to think I had a bit of a hand in with it, because I kept it spawned for him. It, did, it spawned like over there somewhere, and it was just about to despawn, and I started a battle with it so that Shinxi could come and, well, try and capture it. And he did. Now, you may have noticed outside, I've got my apricons. Apricorns? Yeah, apricorns. I've got them all growing. I've only used four different colours. There's yellow, black, green and blue. They're the only four that I'm actually uh, going to be making because with those four colours I can make myself dust balls, quick balls and ultra balls. I'm not too bothered about normal pokeballs because they're not that useful. Now it's quite simple. I'm gathering them here all you do is take the apricorns, stick them in a furnace, and they will turn into cooked apricorns. Now, for the purpose of this episode, I'm going to be making quick balls. So all I do is take the blues, put them there, put the yellow in the middle, and it gives me these quick ball discs. So if I take them, it's quite a lot, I know. Uh, let's put them in here for now. I'll take these. Let's Split these like that, that will give me iron discs, I'll leave them in there as well. I'll come back to these in a sec because there's a few things I need to make before that. So one of the first things I need to make is an anvil. Now I'm not making a normal type of anvil, this is an actual Pixelmon anvil so it's made with 8 iron ingots just like that. Let's leave that there, all I gotta do is take a hammer, hammers are quite easy to make, I'll quickly show you. Two sticks and five ingots. You can make it from different materials as well, including any of the Pixelmon materials. Now, if I take these quick balls, no, oh, sorry, the quick ball disc and the iron disc, and I stick that on there and just start whacking it with, and I just start whacking it with my hammer, it will eventually start turning into a lid. All I gotta do is keep repeating that. It is a bit of a process, but there's an easier way to do this. I've gotta do the same with the iron disc. Same with it. The different material you use for the hammer makes it a bit more efficient. It's a bit like using iron and diamond. I said there's an easier way to make this. So if I go into JEI, put in anvil, there's one called a mechanical anvil. So it's basically furnace, sticky piston, and iron bars. I've got all that, this furnace, sticky piston and iron bars. 
that will give me a mechanical anvil. If I place that down just here, it looks a bit weird. You know, it looks like someone's just taken a furnace and just stuck a, a belt on top of it and God knows what that's supposed to be. But if I, if I take the coal from here, put the coal in there and I put the iron disc there, this, if you see that, look at that. I love the animation though. That's amazing. It does it all automatically. So now, once I have the quick ball lid and the iron base, all I gotta do is place it in an inventory slot with inventory slot, sorry, in the crafting station with a button in the middle, and that will give me a quick ball. Now, I did actually run out of Pokeballs. I it came to a point where I only had like four regular Pokeballs left from the starter ones that we had. Shinsi was kind enough to give me Ultra Balls, Quick Balls, and a stack of Dust Balls. The next item that I need to make is called a Healer. Healer is made from one diamond, four iron ingots, and four aluminum plates in the corners. Now, aluminum plates, very simple to make. All you do, same way you make the uh, Pokeball lids, place one on there, and just start hitting it. It will eventually fatten it out, and that would become the aluminum plate. There we go. That's an aluminum plate. All I've got to do is do the same for the rest and I'll be ready to make my healer. There you go, so I've got everything in place. Pop the diamond in and that's my healer. Now the healer is a piece of very important equipment. The only thing is I've found that if you place it, you can't actually break it without losing it. I think you'll get like one or two pieces of aluminum plate back. I'm going to leave it there for the time being and get my Pokemon all healed up. Well, I say I'm going to leave it there for the time being. I'm just kind of stuck with it there until I want to break it. Alright, so the next thing I want to make is a PC. Now, the PC is the machine that lets me transfer Pokemon from the ones I have on me to the ones that are in storage. I can only carry six at a time. Uh, to make that, all I need is more aluminum plates, a glass pane, a redstone lamp, and a piece of redstone, which I've got everything here anyway. So. If I place these all in, that should give me, yep, PC. I'm really grateful to have a, a JEI ring over there. There we go. That's all set. Ignore the uh, death mark over there. I mean, it's nothing special, you know, it's just me. So now I can access all of my Pokemon right here in my house as well as get them healed. So I don't need to make constant trips back to spawn. You can just see the top of it over there. Now, last episode, I think I. I think I battled this uh, level 3 trainer. I think it was level 3. It might have been a level 1. Either way, I've, I've, I know I battled the level 3 trainer off camera as well. It gives about 300 uh, Poke Dollars, which is not much, but it's guaranteed XP. So as far as leveling up the Pokemon, that's an easy way to go. Uh, oop. Okay, I, I guess I'm going into a battle with Murkrow. So, what? Well, what happens here is Pikachu gets sent out automatically. Now, I can quickly fight with him. He's a level 29. My Pikachu is level 29 as well. Uh, not that effective. Quick attack usually goes first. Oh, look at the damage he did. She did, sorry. Wow. Uh, let's try Thundershot. That has to be strong. Ooh, that was stronger. But she's paralyzed. Ooh. It doesn't matter if anything happens to Pikachu here because I have got more Pokemon that I can switch out to. Uh, I will go with Electro Ball. There we go. Pikachu gained a bit of experience there. And I don't know at what point... I'll discard all that. I don't need that. I don't know at what point Pikachu uh, starts evolving. Like My aim is to get Charmeleon to evolve. And I think that happens at level 36. I should probably start with uh, Charmeleon first then, right? Just so he gets a bit more experience. That's a level 3. Who's this one? Okay, he just run off. Level 13. I'll tell you what, let's, let's try taking him on. See what he's got to do. Oh, he sent out a Totodile. Totodile is a water type Pokemon, right? So, my Charmeleon is probably no good. Even if it is level 34. I'm gonna try it anyway. He's got Dragon Rage, which, oh, absolutely destroyed that Totodile. Totodile. Cyndaquil is fire type, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go with Dragon Rage again. Oh, look at that. He is dominating. I wonder, he's not, he doesn't need that much XP to level up, so maybe this will actually help him a little bit. 
Chikorita, I'm starting to think level 12 or level 13, however much he was, isn't much of a challenge for me. He gave me 200 Poké Dollars for defeating him. But he didn't disappear. Usually, uh, once you battle them, they disappear. Level 3. So these guys, I can battle again and again. Who is that? Clauncher. Level 36. Who is this one? Spinnerack. No thanks. Uh, Hutu. No. There's usually other trainers around here somewhere as well. There's a level 16 trainer here. Yeah, let's... Uh, Let's try taking him on instead. He sends out Volto, which is electric, so Charmeleon might be effective. Oh, okay, never mind. Charmeleon is effective. Dragon Range is actually quite um, a really tough move, so I can only do it another six times before I have to heal him and then I can reset. Oh, Elekid. I can't see anything either. Where is his Pokemon? You see his Pokemon anywhere? I don't see his Pokemon anywhere, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what this guy actually looks like. Let's go with uh, Flame Burst. What does that do? Oh, I took a bit of damage there. Oh, that's it. He's over, and I leveled up, so 35. I only need one more level, and he should evolve into Charizard. So there's two trainers in here, right? I've just healed Charmeleon up. It's level 13 and level 37. I reckon I could take on the 37. So, oh, what is this? Battle type, single Pokemon. Okay. Or is it four? Okay, so I get to choose four Pokemon to take with me into this battle. It's one round only. Uh, yeah, the type of battle affecting the number of active Pokemon at one. Oh, one time. Wait, I can have more than one Pokemon fighting at the same time? Oh, that'd be quite cool. Turn time, team select time, team preview, full heal. Okay, let's just press OK and uh, select your team. So let's go with Charmeleon because I want to level him up. And then I will take Zangoose, Bufalant, and uh, I tell you, what, I'll take Noctowl. Right, there we go. Charmeleon. Oh, look at that. What is that? It's a Houndoom. Level 38. This might not be the best choice all i gotta make sure charmeleon doesn't faint okay i'm gonna switch him out actually i'm gonna go with zangoose i can't i can't see anything i can't even change the view right now i've noticed this quite a few times because usually you can change the view but there's times when you can't do anything about it you're just stuck with what you have uh i'll go with crush claw crush claw is usually oh why did i take damage oh he used ember there you go Undoom down. Uh, Zangoose gained 1425 experience. Charmeleon gained 2100. Random Zentile math. Uh, yeah. Let's go into level 766. Right, he's level 33. Can I send out Charmeleon again? Just so that I can get a bit more experience. Yeah. That's fine, that's fine. He can become confused. I'm just going to send out uh, Zangoose again. Yeah. Let's see, he's used fire something. I didn't see what that move actually is. Wait, his Pokemon is called Matthew. Oh, yeah. uh, is that... I don't know what his, what the Pokemon name is. Magma or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, let's go with Scratch, see if that does any damage to him. Oh, Zangoose became confused. And that was my phone beeping away. Right, so... Scratch did... Absolutely nothing. So let's go with. Oh, I'm taking quite a bit of damage here. Nah. His magma is doing a lot of damage to my Zangoose, considering the level. Oh, my Zangoose is hurting himself. Nah. Oh, this ain't good. Right, uh, go with Thrash. Ooh, there we go. That's more like it. Wait, what? 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 I have no idea what just happened. Bufalant used Thrash, Blake fainted, your Bufalant gained 16. Uh, Brandon sent out Norris, Bufalant used Thrash. What? When did that happen? I won the battle. That was fun, let's do it again sometime. Yeah, sure. There's 1500 Poké Dollars for defeating Brandon. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yes. Charmeleon is evolving. Charizard, come on. There we go. Look at that. Oh, look how big he is. Oh, he's a big dude. 
That is a big Charizard. And he earned Wing Attack. The target is struck with large imposing wings that spread wide to inflict damage. Um, let's see. So power 60, accuracy 100. This is going to do quite a bit of damage to it. So Wing Attack seems to be better than Fire Fang. So I'm going to replace Fire Fang with Wing Attack. There you go, Charizard forgot Fire Fang and learned Wing Attack. Look how big the dude is. That is so cool. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. If I'm not mistaken. Right, so I I actually caught uh, Hoot Hoot and evolved him so that I could fly on him, right? But, if I'm not mistaken, Charizard can fly as well. Right, not every Pokemon Go away, Ratata. Let's just run. If I'm not mistaken, I can fly with Charizard. Oh, yes, I can fly with Charizard. Oh, uh, well, that's a bit awkward. I can see his face inside. <laughs> right? Oh, look at this. It's a bit um, in your face, but I can't see where I'm going. Okay, I, <laughs> I really can't see where I'm going. I'm going to have to fly around like this. Just so that I can get about. Oh no 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 no! I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah, oh, the amount of times I've done that. Well, Charizard, it's been fun. I like that. It's a good thing to keep inventories on. That's the only good thing about dying. You don't have to worry about having to go and get all your stuff. Let's just have a quick look at. Charizard speed 103 okay that is more like it that is more like it now I don't need a uh, Noctowl anymore because the only reason I had Noctowl was for flying because you gotta look at it he's not that strong really um, Charizard's HP is quite low I might have to do something about that I don't know how to actually get all the different stats up but I'll see if I can figure that out Next episode, I will hopefully take on a gym. I reckon I can take on a gym now. There's a gym just in this village, just right down there somewhere. Uh, we saw it right at the beginning. It's like way back there. Uh, ignore those fences away. That was my attempt to try and capture a, well, I think it was like a level 60 trainer or something. But for today, I think that's it for me. I'm gonna end the episode here. I got Charizard, so I'm happy with that. Quite a big one too. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. It means the world to me. Leave a comment and don't forget to share. I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode. See ya.